made it to Taiwan Taoyuan Airport. So I'm currently headed out. I'm so tired. Sitting on a flight for 14 hours is really long, but I don't know. One which is full of cereal. Good morning, Taiwan. <laughs> I'm currently on my way to a co-working space right now. It's near Renai Yuan, and I've been up since like 6 a.m. So I'm really tired, but I'm headed over there right now, and I'm gonna, probably gonna get like a doujiang or like a salbing yu tiao. So heading over there, I have like a podcast I need to record this morning, and then I have a couple of videos I need to edit, and then I have like a few hours of like consulting work that I need to dock in as well. Things that I want to showcase in Taiwan is just like the life around here. Um, I've been to Taiwan a couple of times, and I just want to show what it's like working remotely here. Obviously, the dominant language is still Mandarin, but you can get by with a few words of English. Like I think most people know English here too. So follow along, people. As you can tell, one of the main mode of transportation is motorcycles. It's like widely used by most people. Having a car, I feel like, is a luxury in Taiwan. And then, honestly, you can get anywhere with like taking the bus or MRT. This is my favorite bread. Bolo mian bao. So this is 29 NT. That means it's a dollar, US dollar. So I'm currently headed to the co-working space right now. It's on Renai Lu. And it's right next to a care for, which is super convenient. So in Taiwan, there's also a bunch of different like 7-Elevens. Um, and like you can go in for like a drink and just like grab uh, breakfast, which is probably what I'm going to do. But I need to figure out where the co-working space is. It's on the second floor, so I'll bring you guys with me. There's like a medicine shop and then there's a space up here. This is so cute. This is the space. We even have a Christmas tree in this like really zen area here. It's on the second floor. Overlooking Ren Ai. Ooh. I guess I got here too early because no one comes at 8.30, but I'm here. But it's great because then I can take a nice video, but look how pretty this is. So as you can see, this is the meeting room that I currently have right now. Um, basically, the walls itself is just like a panel where you slide it. I'm worried about the noise reduction, but we'll see how it goes. Um, this is where I'm going to film my podcast with Ivy, so I'm going to get that set up. I am just doing a quick time check right now. It is 3.17. This morning I recorded the podcast and I got some consulting work done and now I am talking to someone on Fiverr so he can help me edit my videos. <laughs> One of the things I realized is like, what are the things that I don't want to do and what are the things that I actually enjoy doing? So I'm trying to figure out how I can do more by doing less and I'm just, I just feel like such an octopus, like I have tentacles and all the things that I'm doing and I'm like, I need to start delegating because I cannot sustain all the things that I'm doing right now. Um, so I am actively looking for help and I'm going to find a consistent video editor as well as maybe like someone who can help me with social media. I feel like that would be awesome, honestly. Um, but it is again, 317. I'm waiting for my mom to come here and then I'm going to, uh, go walk around with her and maybe get like a drink. Oh, I want a boba. It's been two days that I didn't get a boba. So isn't that crazy? Like I need to get a boba ASAP. I should be getting one for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And I haven't gotten it for two days. It's crazy. Crazy times, you guys. Crazy times. Um, but yeah, I would definitely say this remote co-working spot is great. I was actually the only one who came today. Like it is. Yeah, the Christmas tree's still up. Um, I'm really the only one here, uh, so I do like it. A great place for me to work, honestly. I think I'm definitely coming back for the next couple of weeks just to work away from home and just to be in front of this beautiful window. One of the things that I was discussing with my friend was that I feel like Taipei is a little bit more emptier than usual. I have a feeling that due to the pandemic, a lot of people moved out of the big city, moved south where uh, it's cheaper. I feel like rent here is actually kind of expensive. If I were to get a studio here by myself, it's like around ranging from like 500 to 900 USD. So anyways, I'm just saying that like it 
seems like prices in Taiwan are going up. Some of the things that I was eating, I was like, huh, I was like, I don't remember it being that expensive or maybe I was just crazy. But if you're living in Taiwan or you're from Taiwan, let me know in the comments below if that is the case, if people actually have moved out of Taipei or I'm just crazy and I'm just not hanging out in the right places. <laughs> I will say though, where I live uh, near Xingyi Chu, there's a lot of elderly, and it's kind of sweet because you know they're like exercising, walking around, and just living good lives. But I haven't seen a lot of people my age, to be honest. Like I really haven't. Like people in their 20s and 30s. So I don't know where they are. Maybe they're just working in different buildings. But I don't know. I yeah. I don't know. But. Anyways, today has been a super productive day for work. I will also show you where me and my mom end up going and what I will be eating for tonight. We're currently at the night market right now. It's not as lively because it's still a weekday, but it's really cool being back. There's a bunch of good eats on the side, like every single stall you go to. My mom just stopped me to show me this. How fun! Oh my god, there's even turtles. Oh, there's shrimp. And then my mom is showing there's like turtles in the one of the corner. Oh, that's so cool. Ew, oh, Goya. My mom was like, there's turtles, there's turtles. Huh? If I could, I would eat everything here. There's just like small eats on the side. There's clothes for shopping. There's so much to do. Oh my god, I used to love those vending machines with playing like the Claws. I spent so much money at places like that. I'm getting my third boba of the week at this place. So great. Oh my gosh, eat everything. Ooh, is that bing tang hulu? It is, oh my god. Wait. really good I got six of the original cakes and then let me do on this side so I got the yuan wei which is original and then she's making it right now oh and the hayo your oreo <laughs> and she gave me an extra because I was gonna put it on my YouTube channel it's so sweet <laughs> mm, good. this reminds me of my childhood do you want one mm -hmm. yeah my mom doesn't want one yet, but more for me! <laughs> it's a bone and then it says, I love cat. <laughs> So that's carrot cake with egg on it. And then this is also this is chong bing, green onion pancake. Yeah. So we ordered a little bit too much, but that's okay. Yay! Oh my dad also got this is Xiao Oh no, this is a large and it looks like a, they put in a beer mug. This is the small. This is the small. Maybe milk for breakfast. And salvin yu tiao. Which is the fried donut. <laughs> My dad just said in Mandarin, let people drool over this. This is the fried donut and then the bread that wraps around it. Oh. Hello, the people. I'm currently working on a few videos at the moment and getting some work done. I'm sitting on the ground leaning against this wall because my back hurts and I'm leaning against it to make sure that I don't get tuo bay, which is like the turtleneck um, or tech neck as we like to call it. So I'm just like forcing myself to like sit on the ground and lean against this right now. Um, 
today I went to Starbucks, which was pretty nice. I like working in cafes in Taiwan because they actually don't kick you out. They let you sit and work for hours on end. I know it's not good to just buy one coffee and stay there for like five hours, but um, they don't really like tell you to leave or anything like that and I appreciate that a lot so if I go to any coffee shops they'll definitely have coffee and maybe like a snack or like a meal but it's really nice remote working and just being in spaces in Taiwan I think I'm gonna check out a lot more cafes and like we work spaces anyways back to work and one of the things I will say is like my hair is out of control and it's growing so long that I'm like, I should just get a haircut in Taiwan. I've actually been saving my hair to get cut in Singapore because I go to a place in Cuppage Plaza. I always go to her and I don't want to go anywhere else, but you know, it's been, it's been like, it's almost been like five months since I didn't get a haircut and my hair is kind of insane. So I might get it done in, uh, in Taiwan and then maybe get another trim in Singapore. What do you guys think? Do I look like Hermione? 